call, so Ploughman forced to go, and then an up and under, not really to anyone's advantage, or yes, it is, because McGovern read it well. So much better. Richmond want to go that corridor, want to go fast. They forced him to do this a couple of times, and good grab, Mitch McGovern. Thanks, Jack. Silvani. Cripps, beautiful ball, McGovern. Wants to go quickly. Martin, as Bruce said, is the story tonight. He's got a couple in this quarter. It's proving to be a handful, isn't he? Forward half of the ground. This was the kick, though. This one here. The Richmond to set up well. Grimes was down the line for the long one. Pulled it in board. And then Jack Martin had worked hard to get inside 50 to have this shot at goal. For his third in the term. And get it back to 33 points. He looks really good. Fantastic kick here by Paddy Cripps. Look at Grimes. He was ready for the down the line. Brings it inboard. The man who's had a really big impact in this third quarter, being forced to go into the ruck and shoulder the load. Bradley, the benchmark. Cunningham and up and under. He missed a chance a moment ago. McGovern front and centre. And can go back and have a shot and give Carlton a realistic chance here. It was a wasted chance by Bolton down the other end, as you said. McGovern just looking to give this one off. I wonder if someone needs to tell him to settle and go back and... We see on the replay here soon that Jack Martin again, just the awareness, he jumped behind McGovern there, just pretending to go for the mark, just to give a little half metre buffer and confidence for McGovern to take that mark. Clever. So kicking right on 50. Gee, that's a good kick. Carlton within three and a half goals, 21 points to the margin. Folly superb, showed his class. McGovern, huge opportunity for the Blues here. Open forward line, just need a target. Mackay, the man! Well, that's the one. You have to exploit that matchup and you have to make Melbourne address it. And that was a really clever kick because he saw where the matchup was and he just gave Harry Mackay an opportunity to run and jump at the footy. Clearly, their best passage yeah. too, coming down that out. They, they just make good decisions with the ball rather Still than blasting gone. away. Still took a really good half volley pickup from Jack Martin to keep it going. He had his pocket picked by Simpson. Oh, man, Walsh. So McGovern, can he get down and copping out? Jones mops up. Plenty more hands on the football here, the Blues. Swear got a hurt on rebound. And they took clear rebound like that. It's a good ball, too, from McGovern. And so the Blues have got this back on terms here. Weedering out wide to McGovern, who's the lead up target at the moment. That's a cool. Now the Blues. Walsh can hear the target inside 50. For the first time, we've seen a Carlton forward lead and take a strong mark. And McGovern will line up in 45. They're right on top. They are absolutely right on top, the Blues. The challenge now for these players is to convert when they get the opportunities. And, and they could nearly be level in, in, by the end of this term. The way they're playing, we could have a ball game, a serious ball game. 90 career goals for Mitch McGovern. Missed a couple of opportunities in the last few minutes, the Blues. Can Mitch right the ship from 48? Leans back on it, loves it! Carton are coming here at Marvel. They've kicked the last four goals of the match, and now it's Melbourne that look a little nervous. 19 to 5 the clearances since quarter time, if you don't mind. And that it was too easy in the end for Melbourne. But credit to them, they've worked so hard at the actual contest from a stoppage clearance point of view. And this, this is what Carton fans want. They know they can get the footy inside 50. They don't always get it like that. And it's taken Sam Walsh to be able to hit the target. So they are on top. Momentum's with them since quarter time. That was 32 points to margin. Melbourne kicked the first two of the second quarter, pushed it out to 42 points. And now it sits at, seven, at uh, 17 points with, with Carlton having kicked the last four. And the belief's there. The belief is there for this. Looking for it to start at the back. Blast it back towards that Jackson Plowman contest. McGovern starting to have an impact. Starting to Selwood, Narkel. Back to Dangerfield. Drop step was good. Hamble was terrible. And McGovern might make him pay. He does. Four goals to nil. How's the difference in pressure? Unbelievable. This, this is amazing. We've seen a number of teams over the last couple of weeks get belted one week or, or play ordinary one week and then have a complete attitude readjustment the following week. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. Well, the Bulldogs did it. The Hawks did it in this particular round and right now we're seeing the Blues produce a fantastic first quarter 
And who knows, this quarter may be enough to set them up for uh, their first win of the year. Look at the fumbles and, and how quickly they have to try and get yep. rid, rid of the ball because they're getting closed down. And most importantly, capitalising. Eddie Betts' attack on the footy was brilliant. He was one against three or four. Kept it alive for the Blues. And then it was just the pressure. Walsh has McGovern out wide, needs to be a good kick, great hands. And another opportunity for a turnover goal, they controlled their boards along, they gave it back to Carlton and on the rebound, the forward line uh, is under, sorry, the uh, back line is under enormous pressure from the Cats because the ball just came in really quickly but it, does, it, it really needed a top mark and this was a 50-50 ball. He'd be thrilled with his uh, opening couple of quarters. He needs this for his confidence, though. He's only had the one touch, McGovern. Good mark there, good contested mark. Kick the goal, get yourself up and about. Uh, right where we are now. Your feet. Yep. Big kick for momentum as well. Outstanding. Equal to the pressure. And they get a nerve settler, the Blues. You're Jared, it's a very good kicking style for goal. He yep. runs very straight, kicks through the ball. It doesn't bend one way or the other. Keeps everything perfectly in line. Well, it's pretty simple, I reckon, for McGovern. And he's had a fair bit of exposure this week, so he'd be really keen to make a mark. But if he holds these marks, and these are tough marks, but he gets his hands on a lot of marks. Yep. And they, they fall out. But when he's at his best, he's clunking those. And that was under enormous pressure. As you said, Jason, he's a beautiful, beautiful skill. Beautiful through the pick. Yeah, you've got to like that. But you've got to get the ball in your hands. And, you know, that was only a 50-50. That was a uh, great contested mark. That was a great slow motion replay of the kicking action side on. You could see how the weight was forward over the ball. Still got the complete follow through through the kick. Really good technically. Mackay stays down. Let's McGovern go for it. McGovern looks up. Pop the pass. Casbol. Lace out with a bow on that. Gee, that's a good kick. He just, he, he looked quickly, McGovern. And it was, Henry was the opponent for Casbolt. And Casbolt was pushing back on him, almost facing his own goals. And then came back on the lead and he just chipped it into space. That's it, the one that did, Stanley has to hit the deck. It's yeah. just got to go to ground. And he didn't make the contest and the coach will want to know why. Hold him, Mark. Been kicking well. And the Blues have all the answers so far. They've got Mackay as well, who can also uh, present. But uh, right now, uh, McGovern is making a mark on this game, albeit uh, with only a few possessions. Three. Levi, trying to direct it down. Eddie Betts looming large, as always, this situation. That's out of bounds on the full. And Mitch McGovern is going to take the free kick. That's in line now. Take something special from there, Richo. But well, it's that sort of player, Mitch McGovern, he can do the freaky at times. Yeah, he can. Where's Caspo? Just pop one at the top of the square and let him have a jump at it. Requested a trade, as we know, from the Adelaide Crows. Had two years remaining on his contract, and he's the sort of player Carlton would love to get the most out of. It's Ooh, good looking kick. He loved it, Mitch McGovern. Superb effort. Really floats it inside forward 50. Tough ball for the forwards. Murphy, time and class, tried to find centre field. A few found him. Now McGovern on the left has stuck it through. It's exciting for Carlton Richo, isn't it? When you think Harry Mackay not playing tonight, yeah. Charlie Kerno to come back in and the luxury of Kaz Bolden. So he McGovern performing as well as they are. Just five six minutes. Senefil picked it up. Long, high kick. There to oh, what, a oh, what a grab McGovern has. Sure to paint it. Mitch McGovern. That was a really courageous and well-judged mark in the end. Just there. Not easy, that one, Richard. Nah. Came Just with there. the flight of the ball. Look at that. Ice for the ball. And a good... 15 Mark gone. Hurley's on the bench at the moment. I reckon they want him back out there. Well, young Phil, got a little smother on it. Off long, so Nunes barrels it back to McGovern. Has to get on the move. Does get on the move. Centering ball to Martin. 
game 160 for him tonight. Most of those with the Saints. Here's McGovern. Up to Benz. Benz in the pocket. Little kick, McGovern. Here's the man that Lingy said just needs a bit of a lift. McGovern, high ball. And Noons will mark directly in front. Waste no time. Noons from 50 metres out. Launches a long bomb. And the crowd roars. Goes low. Collects it. Williams was half held, but he dropped it. And the tackle was dropped. Martin backed out of the congestion. Stand on the boot by Nunes. This will work. McGovern can go. A couple of dance steps backwards, and then he launches it long on the run. But grab Mackay and hit within distance. And this is very kickable by his standards. Well, the Bulldogs had the extra there. It was Alex Keith, and Mackay just put his head down, was able to get goal side really quickly. It was Cordy there who was just caught napping, saw Keith, and it almost lulled him into a false sense of security. He's got one three for the year, so can be a little inaccurate, but normally from this distance it's not too bad. And he crushes that all the way home. It's been hot early though. Quick kick into McGovern. Opens it up. He hits a good spot. McGovern! It was there for him. Bounced up like a rubber ball. Is that a push in the back? It is. Gibbons free. Excellent ball handling by McGovern. Dropped the mark, but gee, the uh, capacity to be able to control it. Flick the handball on and set this one up for a shot at goal. Mitch. Mitch. Jump out, Yep. Push yep. in the back. Straight in the numbers. Been a grand pickup for them. Michael Gibbons. Two-time list and medalist for... Best player in the VFL, had to wait a long time to get a chance. Played every game since put on the list, except one. And he's a reliable kick. Up to Doherty, and they're often spreading here. Just dried up a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. The rain stopped about 15, 20 minutes ago, and yeah, this drains very well. Petreski Seaton to McGovern, whose hands on the share in there like a vice, proves that the rain stopped, it's a new ball for this half. And it's almost at that uh, tacky stage now rather than slippery and wet, so uh, good conditions for overhead marking. And McGovern has been accurate this year. And again off half-back, Petreski seat, just getting plenty of ball, it's a beautiful kick. Yeah, Blues fans complaining that he doesn't get on enough, but he's kicked six goals, one for the year. And he gets buffeted, but he's kicked a monster there to get the momentum back to the Blues. Williamson, again, that precision ball use to McGovern, who led hard at him. Simpson crumbs it, looks up, not a lot long. McGovern short, just the required 15. And there's that brave inside kick again. Pinnett waiting for it. Kerno back towards the wing. McGovern, putting oh. staff to pick up Martin, get him for nothing. He's been a generator again, and that's bending to perfection. Mitch McGovern joins the party. Uh, it's a good reward. It's a good reward for McGovern. It's good to see all of the tools getting on the end of it yeah. in this last quarter because it hasn't been a night for big numbers for them, but they've been in the game. And sometimes that, that's all you can ask on nights like tonight when the ball's a bit slippery. That's a but it's been a good it? good return. Mackay's got three. Kasbolt's had a presence. And McGovern's looked up and about. Yeah, nice uh, little chain of handballs there. Swept, swept out from uh, inside to the outside. And a great return from McGovern who's been uh, under some heat. See the reaction time was pretty good from McKenzie. And Bypassed him and Betts in the end. And he's still in it. Oh, McGovern, lovely little set up the situation. And Walsh runs in the goal. What a great start to this game. Well, it's not pretty from the Blues, but they're finding a way to stay in the fight. I mean, just a, a, a surged entry inside. And McGovern swooped at pace. And he changed the whole passage of play. Just surged inside 50. Look at McGovern come from nowhere. And this is what I think the Blues fans have been waiting to see. McGovern just created a bit of chaos. 
Eddie does his thing, slippery little handball through, and Walsh, well, we know he's going to turn up, he's going to cover the ground, but McGovern's involvement here, significant. Sam Walsh's first goal for the year, he hasn't been, he's been a lot of things, he hasn't yet been, a, ends up with the football and they can go again, and Setterfield kept his head, he went to McGovern, he just rolls with it and that's why, Levi! <laughs> well, he's in good form, Levi. Things are working for the Blues. Well, given their start, they were three goals down, this is an extraordinary response, isn't it? It's another small sign of development as well, Harlow. The ability to actually change the tide of the game within the quarter. Can they get the ball out of there? Walsh and McGovern. They get rock. Oh, terrific take by McGovern. He's, he's really going hard for it in this quarter and he gets it forward. He got away. Nunes along the line. It stays in. Gibbons, they inch along the boundary. And all of a sudden, McGovern takes the mark. Harry was calling for a deep, he's turning on the left instead, goes for Casbolt at the front of the pack, oh Cripps put a tackle on, no whistle, and Walsh pounces, so he did it in defence and now he's doing an attack. And a couple of experienced Blues, a combined well, Plowman on the outside, hits up McGovern on the lead. And that's by Ben Mackay, so the kick goes forward. And then Casbolt comes out in front of Walker, who's well done Goldstein, but the handball went through the fingers of DeMond, and Gibbons takes the little moment he was offered, puts it through. Well, he had an opportunity early on where he changed his mind. Normally the first option's the best. This time, it's just instinctive. He gets a great little tap down from Mitch McGovern, who I think surveyed the area around him and realised the only option he had was to drop the ball straight down. Good contest from Callamore, that's what he's coming to do. He brings the ball to ground. Gibbons is front and square, doesn't quite get it there. But then this hand pass gets smothered as North Melbourne try to exit. And you'll see the ball pop up. Have a look at that little tap down from McGovern. A lot of class there and a good finish. It's just good goal sense, isn't it? You just love seeing these smaller type of forwards. One, you'd love just the pressure they apply, but they just stay inside the contest and they just take little opportunities. And just that avenue towards goal just opened up for him. He's been an important player down forward. You know, he and Eddie Betts are combining really well. And then you add Jack Martin into that mix. Some good small forwards at the moment. Yes. Walk it over the line, perhaps, there. Perhaps he thought that Himmelberg's hands were in the same yeah. picture. Beautiful kick from Williamson. To Play on. Oh, and BT, that's BT, that's why you normally see the players. They actually... To Cottrell, able to pick it up and shove it down the throat of McGovern. There's Fisher in the hands of the doctor. Yeah. And Jones, so good at Play it. On. To Walsh. He decides to go corridor. What about that kick? Hands it back to Levi. Inside towards McGovern. Bends it around top of the square. Mackay! Eddie Betts, how good was that? He's opened it up and played on and has bent it enough. They get the opener of the last quarter. Simpson, can he go for home? Centering kick. Where's Mackay? He left it for McGovern. And you mentioned it earlier, Moons. They were quite often leading to the one spot and all going for it. This time, he knew it was McGovern's ball to get. Well, it was a beautiful kick because he saw the mismatch. McGovern on show. Just put it to the air and let him go to work on this one and had a very quiet day. Put this through all of a sudden. We are back on. The former Crow drills it. And it's game on again. Smart kick and transition from Simpson. He set this up out of the back half. Simpson, who was involved a couple of times, ends up with it at the end of this play as well with the kick inside. 50, breaking 50. He had to be right on his left leg to have a crack. He knows probably with fatigue he wasn't going to make the distance. Smart kick in the end. Put it to the advantage. Allowed his forwards and the government this time to have the opportunity one on one. Petresky Seaton. McGovern. Weedering. Good grab, McGovern. Neil starting to build. McGovern, a nice leap. Just cruising out of defence. Yeah, good hands from Mitch McGovern. Doesn't 
Seen a lot of the footy just disposed of number five for that man. Here it is to Gibbons and the Blues launching another attack the other way. Got to get it moving here, Mitch McGovern.